Welcome back to the War Chief Club 21. We've got the European split for this week, and we've got Core here in the blue trunks on Abbasid up against the Sniper. The green trunks on Rus. Okay, Sniper actually, so we can see what sort of gold generation he's getting. I don't think it actually tells us here in the top frame. Oh, here we go. It tells us over here in the corner. Great. Nice addition, guys. I don't necessarily have to hold on Sniper's side of the cinematic mode. I mean, of the uh, caster mode. To actually see his gold tally now. So another addition with the improved Observer UI. As well as a much cleaner resource layout that tells us both totals and gather rates. So yeah, we're here again in the War Chief Club. Got the improved Observer UI, so huge shout out to the developer of that. I've forgotten his name though, sorry mate. This sniper will have gone for a third scout. No, he's actually only gone for the two. No third one on the way out of the cabin, so he's just using it to gather a little bit of extra gold. He's just relying on two scout start, but I mean, it sort of gives Core the opportunity to really get control of the hunts and a lot of the deer and boar, sorry, to really deny easy gold income. So here we got Core taking another wolf back home. Finding another couple of sheep too. So it's not really so consequential for Core to be on the sheep as such, because he could have always gone for the berry bushes. But this build does actually save him a little bit of wood to actually start on his lumber camp. It's a sniper. Only two scouts in the field, it's going to be harder for him to get the sheep count that he wants. And to just constantly keep all these villagers busy. He's already got one idle villager there, so that's already slowing down his eco slightly. He's bringing back some more sheep now. Another couple of idle villagers, but uh, here we go. They get to work straight away. He does get that wolf kill as well, so... 235 gold, not a bad haul for Sniper, especially considering he has cut Scout. So he has actually got an extra villager. Well, actually, no, he doesn't have an extra villager out. He just has saved that little bit of food. So would he have gotten more? It's hard to say if he goes 3 Scout or not. It's a core ec economic wing. He's going to go fresh food stuff to reduce that villager cost. Pays for itself in what? Uh, 175. How many? Like seven villages it takes to pay for itself? So, especially when you've got two town center, that's almost nothing. For that tech to really be worthwhile. So Sniper will really have to look at putting the pressure on to Core before he can get access to multiple town centers and really go for an Abbasid 2 or 3 TC boom. Because while it's not as fast as say French or Chinese multi TC booming um, in terms of the villager train time, they save a lot of resources and can also field a um, army alongside the boom a lot quicker and easier. So it becomes quite difficult to play Russo French and try and take the down on eco ahead in army fight because you find you're not as ahead on army as you would be as say against um, English or Chinese or something of that nature. So Core able to pinch that wolf. Just to nice snipe the opportunity to get an extra 25 coin uh, gold out of that.
So this does mean that uh, Sniper's actually going to have to kill two of these sheep or kill this boar first before he gets the 250 gold that he needs to actually get 10% increased gather rate. I suppose it's not really a problem because he's not actually gathering any food other than out of these guys at the moment. We will start to gather food once again in a sec and that's a nice 75 gold bonus for his eco. And he kills another sheep back at home at the same time. A bit pointless to do it now because he's already got the boar kill to go past 250 because the real reason why going up in those increments 100, 250 and 500 is a bonus it gives towards their gather rates. Upping from 5 to 10% now on the food but bearing in mind Abbasid get their own unique bonus to gather rates with that uh, golden age. So Sniper is going for an early night. An early, early night, sorry. Early night squared. He's actually going to go for proxy rangers here as well. Or core. Just scouting out his opponent. Not really able to see much other than the fact that he's got some houses and the stables there. He's going to find the proxy double rangers pretty quick here. Second TC. Before our Abyssid player is going to go up, he is going to lose a couple of villages, but he's just going to eat the uh, losses there, rather than panicking. This is only the one knight and the scout, so three villagers falling for that, but Kaur will be able to replace them. Again, pretty cost effectively, considering they only cost 250, oh sorry, 25 food apiece. And the mill there anyway, just to give him extra food on those berries, on top of that, some slightly bigger radius for close farming. So, Kaur's spotted the uh, rangers in the barracks being added by Sniper here. It's a bit ballsy for Sniper to go for a build like this where he's got all this production away from his main base, but at the same time it makes it really hard to get the boar, to, to push your opponent off the boar um, until you actually clear out all this, so... It also means he's got control of the um, hunt behind it as well. So, I mean, he probably would have gone for a town center in between the boar and the deer anyway if he had have gone TC first or maybe even go for the TC here and then take the boar soon after anyway. But even still, the risk is that once you clear the boar out, you're sort of ignoring this area other than the fact that you've got all the production here until you really need to get on that gold later on. So if you get pushed off it that's a lot of production to go down. You know you gotta spend another 600, 800 resources to actually replace it all. Especially when Abbasid have quick access to rams and one of the better sieves at cleaning up proxy structures out early. don't need siege engineering to be able to start going for ramps. They can even do them as early as age one. It's saying that there's a good number of archers and the horsemen can't really even engage into that many of them, especially with a couple of spears into support. So Sniper's going to upgrade his uh, spears at the moment. Core. Now three villages ahead of his opponent. So he's really going to start reaping the benefit of this uh, 2 TC eco soon. He's replaced all those villages he uh, lost early on. He's going to really just hunker down, add a bit more production, mixed production. And some ranges and stables and adding a barracks as well. So, Sniper. Now with the spears, he's able to defend his archers and use them to take pot shots at the uh, horsemen as well. So even more production added to this proxy spot here. I suppose there is the fortress there to help defend it. 
the sheer numbers of buildings, it makes it hard for quarter to really unsettle that. But at the same time, if this army gets taken out, there's not really much back to defend the base for Sniper. And then there's two points where you can be really useful with the Rams. Sniper can definitely take a head-on engagement with the comp he's got at the moment because it's a little bit before that we've got some more spears and bows for core, but at the same time, I think he does actually have the production facility advantage. Adding a blacksmith now as well. 44 to 34 in vil count. Core actually gathering gold safely at the back of his base. Not overdoing it as well, only gathering a little bit, just to get his armory upgrades. Or Sniper. I'm really thinking he's pressuring his opponent off all the gold at the moment. He's going to try and deny the mill. The core's going to see this going on, he's got that scout in the safe forest, uh, stealth forest, sorry. Or bring all of his archers forward as well. Sniper, really nice archer spearman composition at the moment, and Core doesn't quite have the archers to take an engagement until the last second. He's sort of just relying on Sniper, splitting up the archers and the spears a bit too much. It's a really impressive horseman front line, but again. There's nearly their count in Spears, so they'll trade really poorly into those. So Sniper taking another pot shot, getting another Horseman for his troubles. And he possibly could look at pushing Core off of this uh, Berries here. It's saying that Core is looking to start raiding him and pick off straggly units. So with only two or three spears here, Core can actually stick around and take a fight, but he just doesn't really want to, because even still, it's a little bit wasteful. You've got to micro your heart out, but to really be worth it. So Sniper's going to try and pressure the base of his opponent. He's got a horseman and knight there as well, but I don't think he's really been producing any cavalry at all. Just spears and archers at this point. So Core forced off of the food. Might even have to try and gather food over his opponent's side of the map. A little bit risky, but Sniper the meanwhile is a bit preoccupied with his rush at the moment. And this uh, Spearman Bowman ball. There is a ram taking out the town center, but at the same time the spears mostly focusing down the other the spears on the other side rather than the horsemen. So more units coming in to support here for Sniper. He's feeling pretty confident but there is still a good number of horsemen in the mix here for Core so he might be able to defend this. But Sniper has really worn out the bow count. Now he's really thinned out the uh, front line. Core's going to panic and get a lot of production out now. And he is possibly going to lose this town centre, but they're just deciding they're best off not joining this fight. Core cool, forced to cancel another building being produced, and Sniper taking that town centre off his uh, Abbasid opponent at the moment. Core cool, is safely gathering over that far side of the map. His gold gatherers still haven't been found up the top either. Follow. In the meanwhile, Sniper's only at the 40 villages, so he's only on the one TC eco behind this. As it looks at really growing his eco. But for now, he seems to really be applying the pressure well. So Core forced to try and take another fight again. He's certainly not got the advantage in terms of bow count. But the ram for Snipe is not actually chipping away at anything. It really needs to be working away at these structures because he could probably pick off the range or the house while this is all going on and force the horseman to have to deal with it. So this fight going better than for Core than it perhaps should be at the moment because his archer count is really nowhere near the count of snipers. But bearing in mind, Sniper 
has to fight an opponent with uh, ranged armor and damage while well, he only has ranged damage himself so it's gonna be a tough fight here for sniper he's not gonna be able to stick around under the town center doesn't have that armor upgrade top of that doesn't really have any spears keep thinning out a horseman at the moment now the ram streams forward but it's Sort of too little too late. Now the army's not here to actually protect it. It's going to get picked off for free. Unless he's very careful. The sniper's forced to try and re-engage to save the ram. And now Kaur's got a few more archers in the mix. The archer fight's not so one-sided this time. So horsemen now. Unopposed. No spears around to ward them off. Now the archer ball for... Sniper's really copying it. So Kaur managing to defend here and ooh, Sniper really needs to cancel this ram over here. It'll be costing him a bit of wood. He could then put some of his wood gathering into food gathering. There we go. So he's got to go back with his tail between his legs but he's overextending with some of these reinforcements. Ooh, another one of these archers and spears is going to get picked off if he's not careful. So Kaur appears to have broken out of the initial push here. He's only on the one town center. But he is still up by that uh, 25 vil lead. There's a lot of horsemen in the mix here for Kaur as well. So Sniper stopping to attack those. It's uh, a lot of damage that could have gone into the uh, archers. Which in return are killing all of his spears and his archers. So... Fighting a tight choke here, it's going to prevent the horsemen from really getting the engagement they want, but there's so few spears left now. Archers, gotta be careful because the horsemen rallied straight onto them past the spears once again. Sniper getting some horsemen of his own in the mix. But he really probably needs to get some knights if he can and just really mess with all this light damage is Rus so he can afford to do so or maybe he can't at the moment because he's really struggling for food behind this he's got a bit of wood in the bank but he needs to get some food and some gold so he can make some knights try and clean up this bowman ball because it looks like Kaur might have overwhelmed him here Kaur's going to want to just back out he doesn't want to stick around under the tower and throw these um, archers away but he is set to get the ram. Being Abbasid, he didn't even have to worry about teching to uh, siege engineering. Now another horseman running in, but uh, without any support, he's gunned down pretty quickly. Oh, more horsemen being sent in, but because they're trying to come here and su support the army, and they're not rallied over here, um, they're under a bit of threat. Same time, another one of these military production Buildings for Sniper's under a bit of threat. Ram now for core. Sniper needs to look at getting some units out in the field, sell some wood for gold at the Golden Gate. Get some knights out if he can. It's core. In the position to take Castle Age now, he's up to 77 to 48 bills. And he's pinching another berries over his opponent's side of the map. Well, actually, it's sort of neutral, I suppose. And now production really being cleaned up by Core. And I don't know if Sniper's got the force he needs to actually deal with this. But two rams being added for Core here. And Castle Age, but Sniper's really far behind on Eco at this point. I think he's got no point. Ah, uh, no choice but other than to tap out. GG is called. 